There's a few things. So uh, the um, Child Hand Land has always been a part of my work and in the, in the installations, I, I want to try and prioritize that this territory, uh, our ancestors lived and died and fought for that territory. They made negotiations for that territory. Um, and we are the inheritors of that skill and that strength uh, and that power. And then also, you know, I learned this in doing work with um, a master student, uh, her name's Laura Greer, and she's Dene. Uh, like Taldan people are Dene, you know, Dene culture, you know. Uh, and, you know, in her work and in our work, we were talking about Dene philosophy, which I never got a chance, to, you never get a chance to do that, you know, um, ever, right? Uh, when you live away from the territory, right? So there, here we are, two, two people, and I was working with Laura as her primary advisor to support her work, her research, and her making. And um, what we learned was our ancestors have never not imagined us. That's the sentence. Our ancestors have never not imagined us. Yeah. And so, the work of honoring and being, you know, when you're away from the territory, you know, how do you, how do you carry the land with you? Uh, this is also uh, something that uh, I work a lot with my best friend, Ayumi Goto, uh, when we had our uh, exhibition at the Vancouver Art Gallery, that was the question, how do you carry the land? Yeah. And, um, I also work with Bush Gallery, so these are the privileges of my life, right? Bush Gallery is uh, a project started by uh, my art sister, Tanya Willard. We work with Gabriel LaRondell Hill and Janine Farina Jubilee on Tanya Willard's territory uh, in this experimental space called Bush Gallery. You know, all these places to think about what the land means and how do artists articulate our relationship to the land. You know, and what you have in the installation here is a series of performance documentation. Um, the documentation is taken by uh, another best friend, family members, right? We made each other into family. So Ashok Mathur and uh, Ayumi Goto are also my family. And uh, Ashok took this documentation. We're on Taltan Nation territory and uh, Curtis Rattry, our cousin, uh, what he did was, I said to Curtis, I want to walk to places on the territory where I've never been, you know? And he knows the territory, he was raised up there, you know? Um, and so that day, we walked 4.5, four kilometers out into the bush to see uh, a place on the Stikine River where mountain goats uh, like to hang out, right? And you know, the whole time we're, we're walking, you know, Ashok's with me and my sister Kathleen, so we're all there together. And, <clears throat> and the whole time I'm like, oh, this is so great, you know, there's a great, there's this great pathway here. Oh, BC, BC Parks is doing such a great job, you know, made this great pathway, you know. And then I realized after walking past numerous amounts of very big uh, uh, bear scat, right? And I'm like, oh, wait, that's not bear scat, that's grizzly bear scat, right? And then I realized that the pathway we're walking on wasn't made by something human. It was made by the more than human, right? And it's probably thousands of years old. <laughs> so we walked along this pathway made by grizzly bears uh, to this location. And I, I've been doing a lot of work with this book uh, called Recording Their Story. Uh, and it's about a white anthropologist named James Tate who lived in our community. So it's not actually about our community, it's about him, 
in our community, right? And so this book is like my burden and my reward, right? So when we're walking out into the bush, I'm carrying, you know, the things you need as well as this book. It's not a little book, you know? And I have destroyed this book a lot and um, in my work. Um, destroyed, you know? It's a very interesting word, right? And uh, I've learned now that this book is out of print. You know, that's also a very interesting thing, you know. In the book are uh, glass plate negatives, which James Tate took of our elders, including our, our, our great-grandpa, right? And our great-grandma, right? And what's important to note here is that these are the uh, James Tate's photographs, these glass plate negatives. They are the largest uh, amount of glass plate negatives taken by any anthropologist of an indigenous community. And they're mostly all still intact. So a future project is to go, for me to go and print them, right? In this circumstance, we're walking, we're walking. This starts with me ripping out the pictures of our ancestors from the book, right? And you'll see in this line here, uh, me sitting in a circle of Taltan ancestors um, on Taltan nation territory. Like what a dream, right? What a dream, you know? And I thought, what? We can't just leave these pages here, right? In a circle on the territory. We have to do something with them, right? And it was the first time I performed my work as a performance artist on our territory. Really, you know? That doesn't count, it doesn't, um, and I gotta say this, it doesn't actually overtake the amount of times I've participated in uh, potlatches and dance. That's a performance art as well, right? Um, so we took the, I asked Kathleen and Curtis if they would help me, and I sang a song in our language. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm an okay singer. I'm still learning the words. So I was a bit nervous, right? Because you're singing to tell ten ancestors, right? Um, and animals, and birds, you know? and trees, and rocks, and the river. It's quite an audience, you know? Uh, and then I thought, how do we exhibit this work? How do we, how do we exhibit this performance art work? Um, how do we return these images, right? So I asked my cousin and my sister uh, to say these words with me. And so we took the pictures and we put them on the trees and every time we put them on the trees, we said, ancestor, we return you to a vision of the land that you loved so much, right? But the story goes a little bit further because James Tate didn't just take these photos of our, of our, of our relations and remove them from our territory, right? He also took artwork from Taltan artists and removed it from our territory. He also took songs from our Taltan performance artists and removed them from our territory, right? And so in the book are all these beautiful uh, photographs of Taltan artwork made by Taltan ancestor artists. So we took those images, because I ripped them out of that book, I released them from that book, and my sister and my cousin, we said, Taltan artwork, we return you to a vision of the land that inspired your creation. And it's important here in this exhibition to have this line of Taltan land, right? Underneath this artwork, which is uh, about honoring my mother's skill, our mother's skill our mother's strength and our mother's uh, 
incredible ability to be a contributor to Tao Te Nation knowledge and culture. And I should say this, there are a lot of Tao Te mothers like this. Uh, there's a lot of matriarchs that hold this practice uh, and share it. 